Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. And we have a very cool doll today. This is Venus McFly Trap from the Monster High G3. Uh, that's Generation 3 for anyone who doesn't know. But if you're watching this, you probably know because you're probably a fan of Monster High. It took me so long to get this doll and I've been waiting for it. I had it on pre-order at Amazon and then I started seeing it show up at Targets in the area. And so I've been checking Targets like every day and then yesterday it was available at a ton of Targets. Um, and I didn't do an order. I usually do a pickup order, but I thought I wanna go in and actually get it and see it on the shelf. And of course, when I got there, they were all gone. And then I went to another Target and they had eight of them, but they couldn't get to them because they weren't technically checked in yet. It was a whole mess. Found another one this morning or actually last night before I went to bed. And I got that one this morning. I got the notification that it was ready to pick up and I got it. And they didn't seem to have any more on the shelf, at least when I went to that Target. Um, so this is a very popular doll, and it's one of my favorite characters, other than Laguna, who I've really fallen in love with for G3. I love the character of Venus, and this new version of her is just amazing. They have her as a representation for, uh black representation she has the facial features for that she has beautiful beautiful hair that's in these uh, braids or locks i think is what they're normally called and look at her artwork look at how beautiful that is that is darko dark that does the artwork on these and there's a full artwork on the back i'll be keeping this because this is beautiful uh, here is the barcode if you need that. Now, I suggest looking on Target's website or app, and if you see it available to pick up, do that if you want it because that's the best way to get it. You can go in and pick it up, or you can drive up and they'll bring it out to your car. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, if it says only available to buy in store that's where you might run into a problem because that's what happened to me i went all the way to this target that was about 30 minutes away from the one i was already at got there and they couldn't get to it because it was in a spot they couldn't get to and it wasn't checked in basically whole mess <laughs> so got her and we're gonna unbox her and I do have some other uh, Monster High dolls here with me that I would like to compare. She is, she's a very tall doll. And before I take all this packaging off, I do want to read the back. Um, her name is Venus McFly Trap, monster type, down to earth plant monster. Monster must-haves are her boutony book and hair hydrator, and her monster pet is Chulian, which he did get a bit of a makeover. Both of them did, but for the most part, they kept true to Venus's design. Now, these open up really easily. That just pops right off. And now you can get a much better look at her and all her accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out of this because this is going to take a while. And we'll be right back. All right. She is out of the packaging. And I am extremely happy with this doll. I mean, she is beautiful. Now, there is some weird things going on with her hair, which I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like this, but she has like these loops. <laughs> so 
So I don't know if maybe one of them just needs to be pulled out, but I'm gonna leave it as is for the time being. Now, she has some of the best accessories that I've seen come on a Monster High doll. Uh, she has these amazing boots that kind of look like, like those flower pots that you get where the plants will grow out of the little holes. And they have teeth <laughs> and they have vines coming out of them. She has two different styles of socks, which is really cool. And then she has molded into her plastic these vines. I mean, that is amazing. She has a pair of like faux denim shorts, which are honestly the probably the, the weakest uh, part of her because it, they're really like flimsy and very machine cut. But the pockets work, so she can actually put her hand, like her thumb, her thumb is in the pocket, so that's pretty cool. Now, she does have this cool belt, and it has like, like a teeth design on it, and green painted flowers. And then it does just undo in the back like that, and her shorts also have a velcro and her shirt now her shirt is really cool it has like it says nature on it and the colors are really cool it's very rock star and then she also has um a necklace that kind of matches her belt and her earrings uh the flower is not painted on that so i might actually go back in and paint that but look at this face she has the most beautiful face. She has the little teeth and her ears are pointy and they look like leaves. They have veins to them and that is so cool. And then her earrings look like vines. I might paint those too a bit. Now mine does have a scar on her cheek. So that's kind of interesting. It's just like an imperfection, but you know what? I love that because nobody is perfect. And I love her more for that, to be honest. She has this cool barrette, which does have a clasp on it. So you can take that off and put that in just about anywhere you want. Now her hair, it's, it's sort of soft, but not terribly soft. And it has like, it's like a yarn texture. And then the side of her head she has these molded on um, like cornrows and then the baby hairs are painted on. And she has uh, earrings in both ears. They, those two match. Um, and then she comes with some really cool accessories and she should be able to stand on her own because she has these like boots. Yeah. So she can stand on her own. I will show you her pet. This is Chulian. He's a little like piranha plant kind of cat thing with a mohawk. I wish the mohawk was maybe painted pink. That would have been kind of cool. And he comes out of the pot and he has like a little cat body with vines all over it. And a little tail with a piranha, like a Venus flytrap kind of piranha plant looking thing like from Super Mario Brothers. But he's adorable. I I like him. So, and I love that he comes out of the flower pot. But otherwise he looks like a plant. <laughs> now she does come with this backpack that has some stickers on it. And you can put Julian in there. He fits perfectly. And then you just put those over her arms or over one arm if you want. All right. And then she comes with all these other accessories. She comes with her Bootany book, uh, which does open, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. So it just opens like that. And someone was pointing out that it has these scratches in it, and that's similar to Claudine's 
a notebook, so we don't know if that means anything. Maybe the two of them are going to date. Who knows? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? And you can put all these in her sack, too, um, or her backpack crate kind of thing. And then here's her phone. And it has some icons on it, and it's called an eye coffin in the Monster High universe, and in the back has a flytrap design. And it has a thumb hole so that she can actually hold her phone. Although her thumbs are kind of small, but she can still hold that. Uh, she comes with this water bottle where the label on this is a little loose. It's kind of like they didn't stick it on too well. I don't know if I'll be able to fix that or just, I should probably just leave it as is. The top of this looks like a watering can, which is really cool. And it does come off, which is nice. So, and she can hold that from, you know, from this. Uh, and then she also has this uh, hair care product that has her on it, actually. So this is beautiful and it says hydrate and then it has a spray like lid and that that also comes off and it has the thumb hole Oop, she dropped her phone <laughs> so it just have the thumb hole so she can hold that too that one's a little bit tighter so she can actually hold that pretty well and that way she can hydrate her hair uh, and then she has this little food item, which also has a thumb hole. It says bite. It has a vine, maybe bite five, or maybe it's just a vine. I'm not really sure. So that's really cute. And last, she has these sunglasses. And then you can put all her accessories in this so she can carry them. And they made these sunglasses so they fit around her ears because she does have really big ears so they wrap around and they look sort of like vines and then there's little leaves on the side which i think that would look cool if those were painted green so i might actually paint those but i mean the attention to detail on this is absolutely gorgeous i love the way they did this she is very very different than her g1 counterpart but also very similar like the, oops the reimagining of her is just beautiful and there she is with her glasses on which i'm not too big of a fan of but you could you know put those up on her forehead maybe Something like that. Oh, they are a little crooked because of that barrette getting in the way. But, oh wow. And look at these hands. The hands are really intricate. Now there's no vines on the hands like, like G1 had, but these are still cool. I, it would have been cool if they would have had these similar vines on that. And I don't know... Looks like the vines go all the way down her leg through the sock. You can see them. Same. And I don't know if there's any on her arm. It doesn't feel like it. And it, yeah, it doesn't look like she has anything on her arms. So that's a little disappointing, but overall they did a bang up job on her i mean this is one of the coolest monster high dolls i think i have sorry laguna and i do have, i do have laguna from my previous video and here they are standing side by side and you can see venus is a lot taller and i also have claudine here too and she's on a stand um so she's a little shorter too. So I think uh, I haven't unboxed her yet, but I do have um, uh, Abby and 
I believe Abby and her are about the same height from what I've seen. So, do you have this doll? Is Venus one of your favorite characters? I would love to hear from you. Who is your favorite Monster High character? Is it an obscure one, maybe? I mean, this Venus is my favorite so far. Um, I'm a huge fan of Laguna. I have all her dolls so far, except for one. And um, I'm totally a Venus fan, though. <laughs> and just having my first Venus doll from G3, this is making me excited. I hope, I hope they do more of her, but because she is larger, she might be one that they don't do a lot of, especially in the lockers. But it would be cool to see her in one of the Skultimate secret lockers, I think. Um, I would love, love, love to see um, someone take her and maybe reroute her hair to look like her G1 version. But that's almost criminal because this hair is absolutely beautiful. I mean, um, I'm wondering how it does if you wash it. Probably not very well <laughs> but anyway so there she is she is amazing let me know what you think thanks for watching and i do appreciate all your support i love all your comments i love hearing from you all and uh, if you're not subscribed yet please do think about subscribing and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell if you subscribe for notifications. And I usually put videos out every Wednesday and Friday and sometimes Monday um, or Tuesday or Thursday. But usually it's always Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.